It is time once again to review all of the ways in which the media has covered themselves in glory with our great friend Katie Halber, host of the Katie Halber Show, co-host of the Useful Idiots podcast. Look at that. That is nice looking. There we go. Yeah, I'm super you. jealous. Um, Katie, great to see you. Good to see you, Katie. You guys too. We got a doozy for you, Katie. I love this story. So the moderator of the proposed second debate, Steve Scully of C-SPAN, we covered it here. He tweeted at Scaramucci, um, then he deleted it, and then he claimed he was hacked. And then C-SPAN and the Commission on Presidential Debates were like, oh, OK, we're going to call the FBI and have an investigation. Yeah, uh, as we all knew, he's a liar. Let's throw this up there on the screen. They have suspended Mr. Scully indefinitely because he admits on the record that he made it up, as we all knew. Um, sorry to tell you, Scully, but uh, saying you got hacked is basically the boomer edition of The Dog Ate My Homework, oh and my we God. all knew it. I mean, just I don't even know where to begin, Katie. I'm teeing you up. Take it. I mean, in all fairness, you know, I feel bad for the guy because this is an excuse that has really gotten people far. You know, right. the That's guy, true. he's not very tech savvy, obviously. And he did that cute thing where I guess, did he think he was DMing Skarmucci instead? Yeah, I think of, That's, that's what, what we think. think. That's yeah. what we think. Okay, that's what, right? Yeah. Oh, unless he was like trying to call himself out. It was a cry for help. It was a cry for <laughs> media bias help. And uh, he was doing it publicly for, for help. But to be fair, I mean, look. Joanne Reed got, and he probably expected a promotion, right? That's right. He should better, have a primetime right? show. Yeah. yeah, I know. Fingers crossed that's what he'll get, um, like many other people, like in the great tradition of Joanne Reed, who also says she got hacked. Um, you know, I was a little disappointed he didn't mention Russians as a potential uh, area investigation. Sure. That was Joanne Reed's thing. You know, when, when in doubt, as, as Nancy Pelosi says, all roads lead to Putin. So I guess. You know, given how bad he is, at, I, I, I guess this is a I don't want to throw boomers under the bus because my parents are boomers and they're great people and they have great politics. But I will say that my dad will um, constantly ask my mom for his her her um, blessings to buy a computer that he's popping up on his somehow from some website. Um, this guy is very he went to Columbia undergrad, Columbia med school, and he still believes in basically these um these scams to get your money from online yeah. when they offer you a computer that's expiring in 20 minutes. All of which is to say, my I, I feel for boomer techna, techna uh, ignorance. Yeah. And uh, my heart does go out to him. But yes, it's and, and, and the thing is that, like, as is so often the case, we just happen to see this. He just happened to tweet this um, publicly instead of DM it. But um, I kind of admire his uh, his. I don't know if you can get fallen on a sword when you're just telling the truth about a lie you made. Um, mm -hmm. I guess it's a low bar, but I admire that he, he could have doubled down. Maybe not. Maybe it was just too. No, uh, you can't. Yeah. Oh, can't do it. Yeah. Not, not when they had the FBI involved. I, you know? The boomer nature of it. It was is so boomer. So boomer peak. Of it. Yeah. I mean, from the beginning of not understanding how to do the DM. Right. <laughs> and then didn't he delete his whole account? He deleted the whole account. And then he lied about being hacked. It's like, you know, honestly, <laughs> so what he tweeted at Scaramucci was, should I respond to Trump? Right. And, yeah. you know, I mean, it wasn't a good look. A journalist weird. sort of collaborating right. with this, you know, this guy used to be in Trump yeah. and now he's this like resistance hero, Anthony Scaramucci. Right. It wasn't a great look, but I didn't think it was a career ender to yeah. go. If you could have just been like, look, I probably shouldn't have reached out to him. I meant to direct message. If he had just been right. honest, I think it was completely survival. It was a, we barely covered right. it here. We did mention right. it here. Yeah, but we it, was, it wasn't like a huge blow-up yeah, story. I agree. Uh, but he yeah. made it think... so much worse by trying to pretend like he was hacked. Yeah. I mean, what do you think in all seriousness? What could he have done? Could he have just said sorry and then... I guess someone else would have moderated the debate. Is that would have? Would, well, the debate was canceled possible? anyway. Yeah. And how about this? I'm a <laughs> right. journalist and I interact happened, with right. I interact yeah. with people on Twitter all the time. Right. And you right. don't you're reading yeah. too much into it. Done. Never would yeah. have thought and, about it again. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you because someone sent this to me and it was like, wow. And I was like, I don't really think it's that wow. I think it, yeah. and it was like, at the, I don't know, it was some Washington Examiner or something right wing. And I was like, uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And look, the truth is Trump is an intent like. Whether you like him or not, don't like him, you know that this guy has a lot of, uh, does a lot of like theatrics and it's understandable that you'd want to know, should I respond to him? You know this guy. But again, the problem was lying about it. Um, yeah. So he just needs to get a, he needs to get, a, have a good assistant who does all his emails. Who knows what he's emailed about? Mm -hmm. So we also want to get your take on Twitter this week. Of course, New York Post 
allegedly acquired this Hunter Biden laptop. They put out these emails between him and about his Ukrainian business. They also included quite like outrageously, in my view, these personal photos of Hunter that had absolutely no news value whatsoever. But Twitter's reaction to this was so over the top. They did something they have never done before, which is they barred people from even sharing the link or DMing the link. And then they banned people like Jake Sherman of Politico's Playbook, Kaylee McEnany, White House press secretary, they shut down their accounts for having shared this material. Then they sort of walked it back now. They say they're not going to do that anymore. They're going to instead, they'll append notes to it. And this was all, their justification was that this was hacked material and that they had some hacked material policy in place. But if that was the case, that policy would apply to things like Edward Snowden, the Trump tax returns, right. the Pentagon right. papers, if we go back in time, like well, some of works care. of journalism. Right, right. I mean, I think of the examples you gave, they don't care about any of them except for the Trump tax returns. So that's, I almost feel like it, it's pathetic, but those are almost, you're wasting your breath by pointing out that it's um, Snowden and the Pentagon papers because they also view Snowden as a, some kind of, you know, Russian tool, I guess. Um, I mean, not quite as bad as Assange in their book, I guess, but that's what's so scary is that I actually don't think that these people have, there's a, there are kind of two groups. One is a really cynical group and one is a group that just his brain has stopped working for some reason in this area. They really can't see anything rationally beyond how does this affect Trump? And it, like in so many cases, they actually wind up making bad decisions or poor decisions, even if they're, that, that are actually counterproductive from the perspective of their own goals. So in this case, for instance, they provided this provided Trump and his supporters with a major coup, I think, being able to point to Twitter shutting down stories that are critical of the Bidens or that make the Bidens look bad. If you're Donald Trump or if you're a Trump supporter and this is part of, of what he ran on, fake news, this is such a gift. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. So I just think people can't think straight about it, honestly. Mm-hmm. And uh, if I mean, again, I think the tax returns like is. I, is that that's probably why, right? They had to walk this back because it just would take a little bit of time for people to say, well, here are the other things that are hacked that the resistance would actually like probably have a scanner's brain explosion type of meltdown if uh, if they took off and off uh, didn't let you share. Yeah. Oh, oh right. my God. Can you imagine? But they would never do that. And that's like that's right. the bottom line here. So if you're a leftist, you can very easily imagine, you know, something that's favorable for Bernie Sanders or someone on the left right. or negative for a mainline Democrat. Right. You can imagine that getting taken down very easily. So I think right. that's why you've seen this divide where, look, you're probably right. Liberals right, like rightly bet that even if they get dinged on, you know, this area or that area, overall, it's always going to net benefit them. Right. Do you think that, I mean, remember when Bernie Sanders, that story came out in the Washington Post when he was still on the trail about how Putin was supporting him? Yeah, Trump, I remember they, that. One of them, yeah. Right? And and I was like, and I, they even asked him about it. And he, you know, he took the bait a little bit. He's like, Mr. Putin, I'm going to tell Mr. Putin that you're not going to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then they're like, why do you think the story came out now, uh, Senator Sanders? He's like, <sighs> where did it come out? The Washington Post? All right, good, good, goodbye, or something. Yeah. But he why goes, did, he was why like, did, real surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, why, again, we didn't know, where, was that sourced? Was the intelligence right. solid on yeah, that? that's a good I, point. I really, I hope that Twitter, you know, it's too bad that Twitter didn't prevent people from sharing that story. Right, you're many, correct. many, many other examples of that yeah. as well. Katie, right. great and to And I really you. would, so sorry, just final words. I'd really rather not be spending my time not seemingly defending, and I'm not defending Trump or Putin. I just think that conspiracy theories undermine the left and so do censorship. So you are 100 percent correct. It's not just the left. It's all of us. Okay. I know. Thanks, Katie. Great to see you, Katie. Bye. Bye. We'll have more rising for you after this. 